Hey everyone, I am really glad that you're here. My name is Tracy and you are watching, I'm not dramatic, you're dramatic. And today I'd like to share with you the uh, Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray that uh, claims it magically transforms texture with amazing humidity proofing power. So basically people are saying that it gives you just the sleekest and shiniest blowout Ever. And um, I've heard that using a flat iron afterwards just magnifies and multiplies that shine factor. Honestly, though, according to the actual directions, all you really need to activate this product is heat and tension. So today I will just be doing the blowout mainly because I already have heat damage and I'm just getting it straight enough so that we can cut that ish off. Um, so now's a really good time to uh, test this out. It's March in North Carolina, so it's raining every single day. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll come back after I've blown it dry. And then also again in a few days just to see how that humidity proofing actually works. So if you hold on for just a second, I will have answers for you. Here we are, 24 hours later, I did meticulously record every step of the way, and looking back at that footage, I've realized that this sh did not do jack. So that's why, it did a few things. So it cut down on my dry time significantly. When I saw how quickly I was able to go through my right side, the left side, I just kind of experimented and took some really big pieces and um, the dryer was just as effective so that was fantastic. It made for a very timely and enjoyable uh, blow dry especially considering that I normally can't dry my hair with the door closed due to just copious amounts of steam coming off of my hair. That didn't happen. I don't know where the, the liquid or the moisture went but it wasn't just billowing steam, so that was fantastic. Um, aside from that, though, uh, it didn't give me the slickness. It didn't give me the shine. I actually did uh, go through on a lower setting, granted, but I did go through with the flat iron after all, just because I wanted to see its full potential, and it just really left a lot to be desired. Um, so they tell you not to use any other products until you are done, you know, flat ironing and, and, and using your heat tools. Um, I found all of this on Sephora's website when I was just trying to make sure that I was using this properly and not, um, not wasting the money. Um, but I feel like if I had used my... Um, more moisturizing products on wet hair before and maybe that's where all the steam comes from I don't know but I like to put my moisturizing products on my hair um, before I dry it to retain as much moisture as I can and then after the fact if it needs something additional then I can put just a little bit to top it off whereas um, for instance I haven't put any products in this side of my hair since last night and it's just I mean it's soft but it's dry and it's frizzy uh I just I don't know I have low porosity type 4a hair and this may be different for different people but um, I feel like I got more benefit from the products that I had used after the fact which is my silk elements Mega Silk Olive Heat Protection Spray, which I did not use to for heat protection. Just it's a nice moisturizing oil-based spray that smells nice. And then also my um, Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In, which I do have a video on. I use this stuff constantly, um, it and it doesn't cause my hair to revert. So those two I feel like have done more for just um, general 
moisture, of course, but also just smoothness, softness, uh, compared to the other side. I, I, I don't know. Personally, it's close enough that I'm just going to have to, um, just, just bring it to the price difference. Um, so this is $12 for 1.7 fluid ounces. This one was eight ounces and I think it was about five or six dollars. Um, I saw, I saw like an eBay listing or something for five of these for $25. So, uh, five times eight is 40 for 25 and then two of these would equal mm, 3.4 ounces for about the same price. So that's, that's what we're dealing with. And because of that, it's going to be a no for me, dog. Um, let me know if I have omitted anything. It's, it's kind of late. I'm kind of tired. If you have questions, as always, let me know. And aside from that, you guys have a really nice night.